fun to run. In the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, he defeated a loaded field that included multiple grade one winners, Omaha Beach and Improbable. His brilliant speed figures were among the fastest of any three-year-old at a mile or more. And he hails from the legendary Danzig Sire Line. Multiple graded stakes winner, millionaire, Breeders' Cup champion, spun to run, new for 2021, standing at Gainesway. Hey everybody, it's Jay Privman along with Marty McGee. We are 10 days out from the Kentucky Derby. So this is our final Derby Watch Top 20 presented by Gainesway Farm. Next Tuesday is when the Kentucky Derby draw will take place. And Marty, in the week since we last did our most recent video, a few little changes to make. Three horses who had enough points to run in the Derby came out. We've got three newcomers. So let's just let everybody know where the Top 20 list stands as of 10 days out from the Derby. All right, Jay. Coming out was were uh, Concert Tour. Uh, he's the big name that came out. Also, Panadol and Rombauer. And in their place are Obesos, Dream Shake, and Get Her Number. And they're all going to be long shots of varying degrees. Uh, on top, we still have Essential Quality. He is the horse to beat. You and, I, you and I have quibbled a little bit over whether or not he will be as low as two to one. I'm thinking he will be, but I, I think we're splitting hairs anyway. If he's Three to one, I think people will dive in on that. And uh, anything under two to one, they'll probably uh, go elsewhere. But after that, we have known agenda as a clear second choice. I went with the IRAD factor and, and kind of making him the separating him from Hot Rod Charlie and Rock Your World. They all should be in the same vicinity. After that, a number of uh, 12, 15s, and 20s. And then we got a, a, quite a few at 30 now, Jay, and also at 50. So should be very interesting as always in terms of the pre-race wagering for the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, one of the things that Marty and I have been discussing sort of offline is uh, what the disparity will be, or, or the range, I guess is a better word, of, of prices in this Derby. I contend that I just think in, in this day and age, there's there aren't very many blowout prices. And because of that, you get a, a favorite who might tweak up just a little bit higher and you get, it's so infrequent that you get horses above 30, 40 to one these days. But uh, there are a few horses in this year's field, Marty, who uh, in normal times and in a normal race would certainly be, be deserving of 50 to one or, or north of that. Uh, and we'll yeah, see how it all plays out. You would think so. You know, we haven't had a 99 to one shot, Jay, in 20 years. 2001 wow. was the last time we had a 99 to one. So there have been some real head scratchers. People must not look at the daily racing form past performances where, when they're looking at some of these horses and have them at, you know, 58 to one instead of a 258 to one. But nonetheless, uh, it is what it is. And, and it kind of condenses uh, into itself uh, when they when they go to bat on these horses. Marty, let's talk about two other uh, developments uh, over the past week and, and what to look forward to by draw day Tuesday. The first of which is the potential pace situation uh, with Concert Tour coming out, the Caddo River connections have been on the fence about running. They had always sort of been in, but it sounded like they were kind of fence straddling. They're in now, uh, and the absence of Concert Tour, I would think, would help them. What do you think? Well, it looks like Caddo River might be the lone speed. Whether or not that helps him win or not it is, uh, you know, to be determined. But I did talk to Brad Cox about running him on Tuesday morning. Brad said it's a go. Uh, it's no secret what our tactics will be. He had been on the fence, but I asked him if John Ed Anthony, uh, John Ed Anthony has been getting his tickets together for his friends and family. He said yes. So that means they're, <laughs> they intend to, uh, to run Cato River in the Derby. And as we were mentioning, uh, the draw day is on Tuesday, and right now there are more than 20 horses who want to run in the race. Uh, surprisingly, the connections of Hozier have said that he's still under consideration for the race. And Marty, you did the Derby Watch story this week, and you wrote about King Fury, who is another horse who currently is on the outside looking in, but very much wants to get in. Why don't you update everybody as to what Kenny McPeak told you about him? Well, he will definitely enter, even if he has to be number 21 or 22 on the also eligible list. They will maintain an a AE list of up to four horses, Jay, up to number 24. And I defy you to uh, tell me what colors those are, 21 <laughs> 24, but that's for another date. Um, but uh, Hosier, uh, the first thing I looked at was who are the owners, and it's a group of seven. So maybe somebody in there uh, got Bob Baffert's ear and 
and wanted him to run because uh, obviously on form, he doesn't look like he belongs. King Fury, uh, Kenny is really happy with uh, the way he came out of the Lexington. Uh, he's hoping there will be enough pace in the Derby if, in fact, he gets in. And uh, Kenny's pretty confident in the way he ran. And he, it, it, he almost kind of talked me into really thinking about picking King Fury if he can get in because the horse did run very strong, I thought, uh, in the Lexington. And I'm sure they'll be doing a rain dance for him as well because uh, that Lexington was run on a, an off track that he absolutely relished that day. Well, that's where things stand as of Wednesday, April 21st. Draw day for the Kentucky Derby is next Tuesday. Obviously, come back early and often to DRF.com for updated videos. Mike Welsh is on the scene doing his daily clocker reports. Marty and I will be back next week with our thoughts on the field. And we'll have a top 20 grid uh, with all the also eligibles as well. And, of course, daily news stories and a whole bunch of feature stories to come all here at DRF.com. Thank you for joining us on this road to the Kentucky Derby. For Marty McGee, I'm Jay Privman. We'll see you next week.